Welcome back to Samsta Games, the place to find new strategy games and today we're gonna do some base building. We're gonna play Craft and Abyss where we build our very own base and then we go out there and kill some monsters with it. So let's begin. Play normal mode. You could do a sandbox but I want to show you off the story and things like that. And this is our fortress. Alright, so. Master, the place in the movie is so strange. Now, for some reason, we don't seem to see any background for the story. There's supposed to be a background behind the text. This is obviously a bug. I'm playing this game before the release, so by the time it's released, it should be fixed. But we're just gonna keep going. Why are the ceilings a mix of blue and white? It's not ceiling, it's the sky. I heard that the sky is like an endless ceiling filled with unlimited air. Unlimited? Wow, I want to see it. Where can I see it? It's impossible for now. Because our city, Shangri-La, has been sitting on the ocean floor for hundreds of years. <laughs> no easy calls. <laughs> down, Alex, get down here now. You guys are still here? Can't you just let me reminisce in peace for a moment? Alex, how dare you let that little monster go? You won't get away with this. Get down here now. Ah, so they found out. I couldn't help it. He looked at me with these with those puppy eyes. Alex, where do you think you're driving this pile of garbage? You're going to get torn apart by those killer robots. Why are they calling her Alex when her name is Alice? Like, is she so not important that they didn't even bother to learn her name? Like, the men seem to be kind of mean in this thing. Like, learn her name. G -g garbage How dare you? This is my moving fortress! You guys should get out of the airlock module. I'm opening the gate! Oh my god, she's serious. Guys, come back. Lock the gate. Don't let the water into the living quarters. Maybe that's why I don't remember the water remembering her name. She's threatening <laughs> to kill them by, you know, letting the water in and let them all drown. See you all, I will come back when I found a way to the surface. Alex, moving fortress, move out. Alright, so apparently we are Alex slash Alice. I don't know why we have two names. Look, you know, maybe something happened in our past, we need to change our name. I don't know. We also answer to Samstra, so we're like very... Essentially like any female name and we're like, yeah, that's me. It's fine. Whatever. We'll just answer to this. Apparently there are not many, many women in this world, so you know. If you're a woman, just any name will do. Alright, so this is our beautiful fortress. There are a couple things you can do. You can build new base plates, which you can add upon this. Now what's important is that each of these base plates have a different effect. You can see the effect over here. For example, this type of base plate has an ability to auto repair. This one, for example, is a bank system. Which which increases the gold and things like that. Now once you build the base plate, we already have some, so I'm not going to build any new one. You can build a facility in there. So we've got three attacking facilities, gun turret, laser turret, and missile turret. Each of these will give you like description, for example, missile turret deal 500 damage, prioritizing the slowest enemy, deals an area of effect damage. These shoot automatically, there's also one big gun that you control yourself in combat. Now on the bottom, or in the middle of the screen I should say, you can see how much it costs you. So it costs us 100 red stars, 100 green crystals, and 200 blue drops. I'm not really not sure how these things are called. And each of these will consume some batteries, or some electricity, which is going to cost us some batteries. At the moment we've got 9 batteries, which will last us 8 minutes and 34 seconds. And, what's in, and you can find new batteries in like wreckages in the map, but it's really important to make sure that you have a good battery electricity consumption, otherwise you're going to mess up. Aside from that, we also have pressure. Here you can see the total pressure of my facility. Now, if you build... Each of these facilities has like an ideal pressure. For example, here you can see that the ideal pressure is between 65 and 80. If we can do that, then the attack per second presumably is going to be increased by 100%. So it's a really good idea to try to get the pressure right. 
but yeah. So let me show you what else we can build. So we, we have, we already have each one of these types of guns. We also have one of these, which is, uh, which is a battery center. Sorry, so we, we already have one battery center. We could get another one, which would allow us to have up to 16 batteries, but it does cost us some electricity. And you don't get batteries that often, so we probably don't need more space. We'll get shield amplifier, which is quite nice. This will give us an additional shield. Or motion furnace, which will allow us to... Actions basic attack plus 50%. I do like this shield amplifier. Alternatively, we could also build warehouses, which will allow us to store more of a certain type of thing. I'm gonna build the shield amplifier. I'm gonna place it over here. Actually, no, 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 before we place it, we should be checking, again, like, the effects of these base plates. Okay, we've got no effects. Okay, fine. The things that we built have no effect, but that's okay. So in that case, let's just go and let's just build this uh, shield amplifier. We'll place it over here. And this is going to change our electricity consumption. So now we only last 7 minutes and 30 seconds, but it's going to increase our shield. Now, aside from building these new facilities and base plates, there are also other things we can do. So, we can augment, but I'm going to show that off later. Let's first show you research. So, the way the research works is that in order to unlock a new research thing, we first have to combine the right two facilities next to each other. For example, in order to be able to unlock this main cannon scatter shoot, we had to have these two facilities next to each other on some base plate. And if we had them, which we did, we can now pay 1,500 gold coins to get this upgrade, this action. Attack with the main cannon, uh, and the action is main cannon scatter shoot, attack with the main cannon, attacks cover a larger area and pierces, but the range is severely reduced. Once we get these actions, we can then equip them. So we have two active actions and three additional like strengthen actions, and you can also have passive actions, and here you can equip them to gain the effect. So let me just tell you what kind of effects we've got at the moment. We've got attack with the main cannon, main cannon uh, use pierces enemies pierces enemies and we've also got shoot a piercing bullet from every turret so, okay so essentially we just got a piercing damage here that's what it's telling us and you can get different kind of passive effects and different uh actions by combining the right things together you don't also get different upgrades like augmentating things we're going to talk about that once we get there so let's go into combat so we're going to move here over this map. At the moment, we only have one option to go, and that's over here. So that's what we're going to do. It tells you here. Oh, sorry, I clicked that too soon. It tells you how long you're expected to be there and what you can find in that area. This is a wreckage, so we're going to get some additional batteries, which is really good for us. Now, this is the combat. I can control with my mouse where I'm shooting this big gun. And then there will also be falling some of these like battery capsules, essentially, like this. And if you stand and touch it, it will give you a little bit of extra electricity. It's not like a full battery like this A1. It's just like it gives you like a little bit of energy. So you don't have to use up so much of the electricity that you've got normally. Okay. Now we want to start moving here to the left. And now these other turrets, the small ones that I've got, they uh, automatically fire. You know, you can see this green, blue, and purple one. They all out fire automatically. You don't have to worry about them. You can place Q or E to move them around. Oh, this is going to be a problem because we move very, very slowly. I don't think we're going to make it towards the, the battery. Come on, hurry, hurry. Go, 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 go. <laughs> we need something to speed up our movement. Okay, we made it, actually. Let's move back to the other side, hopefully get that battery. Now, up here on the left top, you can see my HP. That's how much HP my fortress has. You do not auto-heal after combat, but there are some ways to heal up quite significantly, so you don't have to worry too much about it. Just make sure you don't, like, fully die. Then you're kind of fine. Okay. Now, all of these little, like, smaller squares that show up are essentially materials that you're going to be gaining, which we, I'm going to show you what it's used for in a second, as soon as we move out of this combat. Let's go. 
More story. Let's do that. Oh, apparently now we're calling ourselves Alex. Apparently we decided, you know what? Nobody remembered my name and I call myself Alice, so I'm just gonna change it to Alex. I did it! I got away! Hooray! I got past those killer robots. Alright, let's rush to the top. Roar. Yay! Wait, huh? When did you... Uh, I don't think you can be out of the water for too long. Give me a moment. Alex brought out the backup water tank and placed the creature inside Uber, saving the creature. Whew, when did you get in here? Didn't I already let you out of the gate? Why didn't you go back to your kind? Roar, roar. Oh, you're hungry. Let me see. Do mermen eat shrimp? We got a baby merman. The baby merman swallowed the shrimp whole. What? You swallowed it whole? How do you even digest that? Let's make it very clear right now. I might look delicious, but you better not bite me. The baby merman dug into the pile of food. My rations will be finished before we bump into your kind. Wait, actually I might end up becoming fish food if you really do meet your kind. Now that I think about it, why did I even bother saving you? They say the merman murdered my parents. <laughs> yeah, you should have thought about that before. Whoa. Never mind, it's not like I remember anything about them anyways. What about you? The village just told me that your people left you behind. Are the mermen really so cold blooded? Rawr. Hmm, fine, I won't pet you. This was close, you nearly bit my finger off. Love that you can see the shields now. Ooh. Transmitter. Bzzz. Alex, hi, hello? Peggy, you found my wireless transceiver! Oh, good. You actually got out? Did you run into those killer robots? I ran into them right out of the gate. They threw a huge welcome party for me. <laughs> How can you joke about that? That's because I survived! Come back. There's nothing but killer robots out there. You're just being impulsive. No, I've thought it through. Master's calculations are right. A living quarter is shrinking. The airlock gate is also clearly going to become unusable. We'll end up getting engulfed by the ocean. The only way for us to survive is to find an exit to the surface. No, you can't be thinking of following your master's footsteps. It was crazy to leave in search of whatever exit that was. Nobody knows how large these ruins are, so what's more, we don't even know if the sky and surface even exist. <laughs> okay, apparently Chinese transmission is going in. Oh, but Chinese, I have no idea. The remaining documents in the networks are all corrupted. Those might have just been fragments of somebody's imagination, so... Ah, wait a minute, those drones are back! <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, we're gonna start with the augmentation, because that's what I'm sure of. So first of all, we can fusion different types of upgrades, essentially. For example, we could try to get a turret augment. So we're gonna pick some materials, ideally something that's good to have on a turret. So for example, action damage increase small, yes. Turret enhancement, sure. And ammo exchange. I guess we'll do. I guess we'll do the ammo exchange. Now you're gonna combine all of these into a new higher quality upgrade, which is we're gonna get the third augment of all. 50 quality and then we can pick three effects that we want this thing to have so for example we can pick plus five percent action damage when equipped then we could add fortress durability when equipped it's actually not bad but i think we'll go with a plus 150 percent damage to turret facilities i think it's only plus 32 percent damage to turret facilities. it depends on the upgrades we're actually yeah, we're, we're the third upgrade, so we are plus 51% damage to the turret facilities. Attacks of the equipped missile turret now attack with gun turret ammo. Is that good or bad? I have no idea, but we'll grab that and we'll do the turret enhancement. So we're gonna combine these and now we can equip it. We're gonna grab this thing and we can put it on... Should put it on the missile thing because that's now using the, the gun regular gun turret ammo. So this is now doing a little bit better. Okay, so we could do another thing. Let's do storage. Let's try storage. All these price increases, I don't know what that does. I 
I don't think storage is a good decision. How about electricity enhancer, ultimate augment? Let's do electricity saving system. We'll do the price increases. We'll just see what it does. I'm not quite sure what it does, so we'll try it out together here. All right. Confirm that. Ooh, this is a really high quality thing. Plus one max battery when equipped. That's really, really good. Resources from enemies defeated by turrets within a range. So this will give us plus 54% resources. Interesting. Sales price plus 40%. I guess we'll do the sales price plus 80% and we'll get the extra resources and we gotta put it somewhere where we've got a lot of turrets so we'll put it up top up into the this area next to this turret good now another thing we can do is we can go to the wreckage and we could try to collect battery steel or hope so uh, steel will help you increase your HP which we don't need so if you click on it, it's just gonna say hey you don't need that what you doing what you doing girl Alice slash Alex, what you doing? All right, we got some batteries, so we're now full. And we could also collect hope. So we got now get a new base plate, which the ability of interceptor bullets, plus 50% main cannon damage. Main cannon bullets can now intercept enemy projectiles. It's actually quite nice. Let's grab that. Give me my hope interceptor bullet. Do we want to build the base plate of the hope interceptor bullet? This is this one, right? Could put it over here, or like, ooh, like this would probably be better. Yes. Okay. And now we could put stuff on top of it if we wanted to. Like, for example, we could add another... Which one of these is the cheapest? Actually, the missile ones. I'll do one missile. I'm worried about putting... Actually, we'll put the missile next to the other missile, because that's where we've got like the, the upgrades, the previous upgrades. And now let's do one more combat. Go. Let me do it. We could pick an area. So we can see here the duration, how much battery it's going to consume, and how much pressure. And also the enemies. So we've got lust, pride, and greed. Enemies that move in groups and charge toward the fortress. An enemy that will stop in place and snipe. An enemy that will quickly circle the fortress and repair nearby low-level drones. Yeah, we can handle that. Let's do lust, pride, and greed. All right, we can also issue commands now. Ooh, difficulty four. It seems like it's pretty high, but we're gonna handle it. We could do maintenance. Consume 30 seconds of electricity, but recovers durability. Don't care. We've got full. Attack force. It will cost us 1,000 credits, but it will increase the action and turret damage during the next battle. Or defense force. It will take less damage. It's just gonna do nothing. Okay, I just want to save my money. I'm happy. It's fine. We can do this thing. Okay. Alex slash Alice for the win. <laughs> also, apparently there was another woman called Peggy, so I'm really not sure why they can't remember my name. I was like, I thought maybe there are no other women in this world. I don't know. But, you know, they are, so, like, do you have no excuse anymore? Just remember my name. It's not that hard, Alex slash Alice. <laughs> wow, that's, oh, that, was, that was very easy to kill. I was excited for it and then it was, like, dead. Because it was as big as I am, you know? Everything else here is, like, so small compared to the size of my big, beautiful, spidery fortress. But that enemy was, like, big. I was like, hey, man. You know? And then it's like, nope. No hey man, apparently. Come on, go, go, grab it. Grab my battery. Ooh, we destroyed it just before it hit us, which is nice. I like it. And by the way, this is like the edge. You cannot move any further than that. I'm gonna point that out. We're doing so well so far. I'm very happy with this. There was an enemy there that my tiny, tiny missile turrets already destroyed, apparently. The the other like missiles they seems like they don't do much but they actually do quite a lot of damage as well so we don't have to like it's not that this big one is ah uh, okay we didn't miss it. I was just gonna say we missed it I don't think we can grab that out of battery I'm gonna try but don't have high hopes yeah because so we're moving so slowly and we're moving very jerkily so you have to like it, because it, it doesn't if you hold it doesn't continuously move oh. Yeah, you have to... Well, it does continuously move somewhat. It does, like, two steps, and then you have to click again. And if you don't click again, it's just gonna stand there. So you have to, like, remember to continuously click and then, you know, also watch where the batteries are. That's alright. It's fine. We've got a lot of items here. And it... Ooh, another story. Okay. Um, we'll do the story in a moment.
On one hand, I appreciate that it shows you the fortress because it looks so. On the other hand, the fortress looks very spidery, so I kind of wish it didn't. Let's do the story. Nobody who left the living quarter ever came back. They might have just found the exit and left. But if your master did, then why didn't he come back? Why didn't he come for you? I thought he cared about you. I mean, I thought so too, but apparently not. It's hard to explain, but I have a feeling that he's still alive. I'll eventually find him somewhere if I follow in his footsteps. You have to accept reality. He's probably... Anyways, I'll definitely come back for everyone if I find the exit. Don't worry. Do you really think that everyone will go with you? Is that why you made such a large vehicle? <laughs> They really do not like us on this thing. Like, I mean, if I find the exit, shouldn't it, like, be obvious that you come with me? I'm trying to save you and also find my master who left me and I'm very upset about it because he was the only one who remembered my name. Yep, I thought I could convince some people to join me right now. At the very least, I thought that you would come. Apparently, Peggy doesn't like us enough. I'm not brave enough for that, which translates to... Alex slash Alice, I like you, but I do not like you that much, okay? And you can wait for my return. Oh. <laughs> well, at least the baby merman likes us. Ah, boo boo. Ah. That's so cute. Did you see that? Did you? You just blew some bubbles. <laughs> oh, I know. Let's call him Bubbles. Rawr. Can't believe you named it. I mean, nobody else seems to like me aside from my master who left me, so whether you like me is questionable, and my beautiful Bobbles Merman, so you know, gotta use what you have. And this is a good time to end the episode, I hope you enjoyed it, if you did run on the comments and you can click on the right to watch some other games, I'll see you there, bye bye!